made by Video Copilot, which is an amazing website which has a lot of good plugins, uh, amazing tutorials and stuff like that. So uh, I recommend you to check it out. And so there, there is a optical flares, and there is optical flares pro presets, and there is uh, pro presets uh, too. So this gives you even more flares to use. Um, so I'm just gonna jump right into After Effects and I've done a new composition here so I'm just gonna make a new adjustment layer by uh, clicking Control Alt Y make an adjustment layer and I'm gonna rename this to Flare you don't have to but it just feels good to name it Flare since we're gonna be making flares so you go to Effect Video Copilot Optical Flares and this thing pops up and it's just gonna load the plugin okay so um, we end up with nothing it's because we have to make a background um, so let's make a new solid it below and now we have our flare um, I don't think you have to make a background unless uh, you do it on a uh, on a adjustment layer you can make add this effect on a solid instead but I usually put it on adjustment layers because I think I, I don't know I like that better so anyways um, I'm just gonna name this BG okay so we start by seeing this flare it's kinda cool I guess but maybe not what we want so well if you click this little circle here you can just move it around and so it looks pretty cool and here you can adjust the brightness how bright it is and the scale of it and rotation also you can tint it so maybe one a green flare yeah okay and you can choose if it's gonna be 2d 3d track lights mask or luminance so if you wanna put a 3d you can make it a 3d layer I guess it makes it 3d uh, and if you put track lights see if you this is good if you made a maybe like like I I used this when I made this light streak intro thingy where I used a light as a uh, emitter for a particular and then I could just make a flare and put it to track lights and it would be at the start of the uh, emitter all the time so that was pretty nice uh, so anyway and uh, now if you want to change the flare not not just the brightness scale or rotation or anything you want to change the whole flare you're gonna click on the flare layer and open effect controls and choose options up here and now we get up you get this menu up here and here you see all the different layers on the of the flare so you've got a bunch of different stuff so if you if you want to make a just uh, just make a new simple flare you can just press clear all so everything just gets deleted and you can press lens objects if you want some cool if you want to make your own custom flare you can go to this here's some cool objects or you can go to custom objects some even more uh, but I'm gonna go to lens objects and uh, usually you just need a simple flare um, so then you can just put a glow and a streak on it and you have a simple nice flare but maybe you would like to add some shimmer to it maybe make it a little less outstanding uh, and maybe you wanna add some hoop some a uh, hoop no but you can if you want to Um yeah so there you got a simple flare also you can 
add uh, if you go to custom object you can add like things like uh, let's see here how about this random stripes and you just move around you see it looks about the same but if you uh, turn up the distance when you move it you see this cool thing happens so that's pretty nice uh, but if you don't want to make your own flare you maybe want a more complex awesome flare you can click on show presets and here on custom presets you can sh uh, save your own flares though I haven't saved any uh, and there are these different folders here go to light here are a bunch of awesome flares like evening sun that one is pretty cool um, sun digital sun glint it's a lot of sun because it's uh, yeah it's light and you have motion graphics flares which are the ones I use the most because well I do motion graphics uh, a lot so I love this this cool flare this this is amazing this is probably my favorite it looks so digital and cool um, see what we have more we have monster flare this is brutal Sank or 16 is pretty nice one too so yeah and you you see uh, now as you have natural flares too uh, I'm not gonna go into that one and you see this is the add-on first add-on pack the pro presets gives you a little more flares kinda cool and the pro presets too which gives you another 50 flares uh, which are kinda cool too uh, okay so I'm just gonna choose this flare because I like that one and I can move that around uh, I'm gonna turn this to zero so we don't have any rotation yet okay so he wanted to know how to do this effect on the, uh, of the start of the intro where it's it just super bright and it spins and it disappears so like this pretty sweet so I'm just I'm just gonna do the flare I'm not gonna add any text or anything because I think you know how to do that uh, otherwise you can check out any any tutorial I bet you'll find a good one for making text okay so I began by hitting the stopwatch for brightness so I can make a keyframe and putting it to really really light uh, so we have put it up to 500 and I'm gonna go forward a like a second and I'm gonna put it down to like zero yeah let's put it to zero uh, we don't want any flare left at all okay so now we got this okay so we have this this spinning too so I'm gonna do that too so you just hit the rotation uh, stopwatch so and you do the same thing but we gotta see where do I have the other keyframe and we gotta match them up otherwise it will look pretty weird and let's put that to 360 so it spins all around okay so now we have this okay that's maybe a little too much let's put it to 180 gotta turn this down otherwise we'll get one and a half mm, okay well that looks better okay so if I just pre-render this oh damn it I hate when this happens anyway uh, I, I don't I can't really pre-render it because my After Effects don't like me but it can look it, lo it looks like this and that's pretty cool so um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to use the optical flares plugin. Hope you found it helpful and this has been John Jess and I'll see you later. Yeah.